For more analysis, we're now joined in the studio by Ms. Su Xiaohui. She's the Deputy Director of the Department for American Studies from China Institute of International Studies. So welcome to the show, Ms. Su. You know, 70 countries for endorsement, that's quite a lot of countries. So tell us more about the significance of these 70 countries voicing their support for China's policies on Hong Kong at the UN Human Rights Council. Okay, Zhou Yun, as you may notice that besides the 70 countries, more than 20 countries spoke individually to, to support China's decision and policies on Hong Kong at the platform of, of Human Rights Council. The countries did not speak under China's pressure. The countries did not speak for China alone. Actually, the uh, the joint statement as well as the individual speeches reflect these countries' understanding, their common understanding about the, the developments in Hong Kong, as well as their develop their understanding about the China's policies on Hong Kong. As you may notice that first of all, the countries emphasize that they support China's efforts to uh, to boost Hong Kong's stability and development. The countries believe that what the Chinese government is trying to do is to maintain stability and to provide more opportunities for people in Hong Kong for their uh, well-being and for their development. So this is the key principle to support the idea. And at the same time, the countries emphasize the key principle, non-interference in other countries' domestic affairs. They believe that this is one of the basic principles of the international rules. Every country's sovereignty should be respected. This is the basic rule for the countries to get along with each other. And uh, as for China, as especially for China's domestic affairs, the countries said that the relevant parties should stop interfering in Hong Kong affairs. So this is clear signal from the international community to support Chinese government's efforts to provide a platform or provide opportunities for its people to uh, live a better life, to improve people's living conditions, including to provide more opportunities for people in Hong Kong and the people in the mainland to interact with each other and to, to develop together. So this is a positive signal from the international community to support China's decision and it is also China's basic principle and China's basic for the policies to uh, move on in Hong Kong's decisions. What Chinese government is trying to do will try to make the international community to understand what China is trying to do is to, to boost the stability and prosperity of Hong Kong. Okay, thank you so much, Xiaohui, for sharing with us your analysis. Always a great pleasure talking to you.